a note on the Sabbath with the Philip Simon Hoffman, the late great actor, uh, who is playing the role here of a, of a um, son uh, who has a problem of, uh, w w with a father. The savages are not savage people, or maybe they are in a way. Now I realize that that's, that's maybe one, one intention, one aspect of this title, and the name of the family. Uh, savage is the name of the family. Uh, the father is entering a late stage in his life when he's acting uh, strange to begin with and then sick. Dementia, there are some possibilities there. Um, there's this scene which has a trace of humor, uh, grotesque and uh, bathroom humor. He's um, in the home of this friend he has, they're both old, 70, 80 and she needs assistance and she has a man to care for her, a social worker. And this man comes and says to this father, uh, well, I forgot the name, let's call him Albert. Uh, Albert, I need to use the bathroom and I can't because uh, uh, you didn't flush the toilet. He is a bit pretentious and pro provocative A little bit, maybe more than a little bit. Not excessive, not, but a bit patronizing, arrogant. Why, why don't you do it? Says Albert. Well, it's not my job to do that. The hell, I'm eating. The guy takes the cereals, put them in the refrigerator, and says. You will have them back when, after you flush the toilet. God damn it, what mumbo or something. Uh, you, you, you're the social worker or something like that. The dialogue is not, I, it's not a quote, it's what I remember. No, I'm helping uh, Helena there, the friend. Anyway, Albert is frustrated, nervous, goes to the bathroom, stays for quite some time. There's this guy who acts in a way like um, 70 years ago or so they would call, I don't know, they would say poof. Not in the sense there's no, I don't mean any offense. If he's, if he's homosexual, that's fine. The wonderful people I love, Bruce Somerset, Mom, Thomas Mann are my favorite authors. Thomas Mann, I understood recently, was also having desires for men, even one of his sons. So that's, I mean, everybody's all their own business. And, uh, it's just this uh, uh, artificial sometimes, and funny, pleasant way, of, which in the case of this guy was a bit uh, off, uh, maybe, boundaries. So he's doing something to the nails of the woman and uh, combing of hair, anyway. It's too long there, Albert goes, opens the door after repeated uh, calls, and this Albert has his hands all brown and full of uh, brown uh, matter, we can understand what it is, and he was uh, writing jerk on the wall with his own feces. Bad from humor. After this incident, there are calls, uh, and then to the son, Philip Simon Hoffman, and the daughter, and eventually in the space of a few minutes in the film, the friend dies. Uh, there's a moment of tension there because um, um, Philip Simon Hoffman and his sister, the cat, obviously, 
uh, go to this home in Arizona or whatever, wherever it was. And the family of the friend, who's dead now, basically tell them that Albert has to go out. What do you mean? They, they lived together for 20 years. Surely he has some rights. No, he doesn't. They go outside because there are children in the house and they show him, we see through the door discussion. We don't hear what they say, but when he comes back, uh, Laura Feeney was the actress? No. Anyway. Uh, he says, yes, basically they had a sort of a prenup, even if they didn't exactly get married, a contract of some kind which said everyone with its own business, separate money, separate account, and so the home is not, he has no right to. And they have to put him inside a, a home for the old. Uh, and there's a lot of talk around this. What is it? Is it uh, an asylum? Or, and they don't call it that. Uh, and there are all sorts of names. And there's both humor and a lot of sadness, obviously, inside this very good movie.